Kia Mokhetse Khabout Lue Lui says her now 23-year-old son started abusing drugs at the age of 16. She says he's addicted to crystal methamphetamine. How feel you safe here around Motoko Kiling Crystal? You don't feel safe around a person who smokes crystal meth. He doesn't sleep at night. When we are sleeping, he walks around the house and talks alone about how he will kill us and bury us in the yard. The mother of six says she has had to open assault and theft cases against her son more than once. He's aggressive, he beats us, especially when he's under the influence of drugs. He beats me and his siblings. Especially Otla For her and her children's safety, Khabot Lui says she moved her addict son to their vacant family home. However, he has broken some of the windows, filled the house with garbage, leaving a heavy stench. Khabot Lui is living with the hope that her son will change. I love him. I want help for him. I want him to stop what he's doing and make me proud like he promised. It's not too late for him to change his life. One clinical psychologist believes that education could help in the fight against drugs. Sometimes people use substances and aren't aware of the dangers of it and the full effects of it and the long-term effects of the substance. So. Firstly, I think the important thing is to educate people, educate people on the different dangers of the substances and to understand what they're actually taking. The Northern Cape Department of Social Development says the fight against drugs cannot be left to government alone. It's shocking that we have recently found that there are cases of children as young as eight years old being trapped in this vicious cycle of drug abuse. It's not only illegal substances, but also prescribed medication. And that is why we need partnerships with civil society because it is in communities where drug dealers operate freely. Problems emanating from substance abuse affects not only the individual, the family, but the community as well. The department is also calling on the South African police service to work with them by arresting suspected drug lords and peddlers. Meanwhile, Khabo Tluelui is asking parents to stand together and fight for a drug-free future for their children. Nerea Lagoza, SABC News, Bambir Stad, Northern Cape.